Hi, I'm Hannah Holman, and this is my fifth year playing at the Winter Music Festival. I'll be playing Friday night, and I'll be joined on Saturday by Chris Goudreau and the Leafies you gave me. Chris, how about you tell us a little bit about your band and how you got involved with this cause? Well, uh, I'm here with uh, my fellow bandmate, uh, Matt O'Leary. Uh, we're uh, a 10-piece sort of avant-garde theatrical group, and we blend a lot of like different influences together. Uh, we've got like jazz, a little punk, uh, kind of Frank Zappa influence in there, doo-wop. Uh, if someone composes something, everybody's willing to try out pretty much whatever. That's so. awesome. Yeah, so tell us a bit more about your um, previous years at this event. Me personally, I, I've been playing the Winter Music Fest for the, probably the past, I'd say, four years. I, it's always just a, a pleasure to come back. It's it's for a really great cause. I, I mean, it's always a uh, no-brainer when it comes to uh, just just performing for, for a really important cause, just to help, helping home, homeless veterans uh, transition back to a sense of normalcy. I'm, the space is actually um, pretty good for what we do too, because it's very accommodating, like just physically, yeah. um, to the, the the size of the band, but also the the theatrical element, yeah, definitely, and stuff. It's like, yeah, I mean, there's been plenty of cases where we've packed in like sardines when we've had to, <laughs> but it's always it's always better when we have a lot of space and we're able to put on a much better show, in my opinion. It must be interesting, too, since there's not so much of a defined stage at the World War II Club. It gives a bit more interaction between the audience and you guys. Absolutely. Being a more theatrical aspect. So that must make it a little more hands-on for the audience to be more of a part of the whole performance. Yeah, that's a really important part of it, especially, especially for the character that Chris... <laughs> Is known characters. to slip into, yes. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so at a typical Leafy show, you might uh, get baptized. Uh, <laughs> so um, so what and when will you be playing at the World War II Club? So this is my fifth year playing, and I'll be doing the kickoff party on Friday night as well as Saturday. And I've been playing the harp for about 16 years, so I like to incorporate that into my act, but I kind of, I function as sort of a one-woman string ensemble. I play guitar and ukulele as well and I'll usually switch between for different songs to give a little bit of variety to what I play and I do um, a lot of original tunes, mostly that, that I've written throughout the past couple of years. Some new stuff will be coming up which is exciting. Sometimes I throw in a couple covers as well. I'm a big Jefferson Airplane fan so I like to sort of revamp classic rock stuff on the harp now that I installed the pickup. So it creates a really different sound that people aren't expecting when they see a harp. So it brings some, some variety like you guys in a sense where you're not quite sure what you're expecting when you see a electrified harp and it's interesting. You can get some cool, uh, cool sounds doing that. I mean it's rare enough to even see uh, someone playing harp. Right? Yeah, so. definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so let, let alone be doing... It's like, like a double surprise. Yeah. Yeah. People, don't, <laughs> people don't expect it, especially someone so young, since a lot of a lot of the people I've run into in fellow harpist circles are much older than I am. So it's unexpected altogether, which makes it have a lot of impact, which is fun. I've enjoyed playing the event a lot. It has such a great cause, and the Deuce is such a great venue as well. There's lots of great space for performing, as you were saying, and everyone is so, so receptive to all of the acts. It's just a great environment to be in for performing. And now for a little preview of what you all have to be looking forward to for the music festival. This is If Wishes Were Fishes by Chris Goudreau. <laughs>
of us so that would not be on an acoustic guitar uh it's it's all electric and with uh, like saxophone and bassoon and violin and keys so that cool. was 20 percent yeah that was like me keys <laughs> yeah. thank you to the music festival to see the full 100 percent yeah <laughs> it'll be a great show well thank you for having us yeah, thank you for coming looking forward to seeing you guys again for the music festival likewise Hannah Holman here again. If you'd like to be a part of this festival by helping us sponsor, you can go to our Facebook page, Winter Music Festival, and help us out and help us make this event an even bigger part of this community.